Hey, so welcome back. So on this uh, uh, project, this is going to span between New Zealand and Canada because uh, what I'm trying to do today is uh, I've got this old Victorian uh, chair that I got from my dad. Um, but uh, to get it back, I've got to kind of break it down. I, I looked into sending it all back um, like how it is right now, so I could work it on it uh, back at home in Canada, but it's gonna be like two grand to ship it back, so I was like, well, okay, I'll break it down here. And most of it is kind of the dowlings come out and stuff like that. Um, the bigger problems I have is where things are screwed in um, on the sides in here. They, uh, they're not coming out anytime soon, so I've got to just work out how to cut those off and kind of get it down to a flat pack so I can get it in a suitcase and get this home. Um, the particular chair is from the 1800s. So it's well over 100 years old. Um, lasted fairly well for the most part. As you can see, some parts have been gnawed out. Uh, a few little parts are missing, but still repairable. Um, I have just kind of been with a bit of wood filler, just filling in some of the bits here and there to make it a bit prettier to get it back. Um, I'll just spray a light coat of sealer over it just to keep basically customs happy and that um, to make it a bit more presentable. But uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Um, so I'll break it down and then yeah, once I get it back to Canada, we'll continue there and stuff and two this is oak so an oak's not really um that common in new zealand to buy at a, at a building supply depot or anything like that which in north america you can go down to the home depot and just pick up some oak fairly easy to repair things so yeah let's get into her and uh see if i can break it down uh, just get into flatter flatter pieces So we managed to break it down the you might have seen that first one that kind of broke away i mean the wood's kind of brittle but that should glue back together pretty good we can fix that up but it seems a bit brutal having to pull it all apart but i think it does need to be pulled apart a lot of the joints are have come away over the years neglect so yeah we'll get into it and when we get back home, give it a good sand and clean up. It's got pretty good. I mean, it's still pretty solid. Um, it's wear and tear over the years. Like she's had a bit of a rough life. But it's pretty cool. It's very mechanized. It actually turns into a rocking chair as well. So the seats is up here. And when all the legs get folded right down, you can actually stick them up and use it like a rocking chair. The kid um, will stand it back up and uh, uses a high chair and that but yeah we're getting to have a better looking at a look at that when we get back get it back home uh, right now i'm more concerned about getting it down to at least pieces like this which will sit in my suitcase to get it home and that and then we'll put it back together hopefully so <coughs> i managed to get it all broken down um, I think to a point where it'll sit uh, pack away in my bag a bit better to get back to Canada. Uh, we gave it a quick little, uh, I say a light uh, coat of um, clear coat just to tidy it up a bit uh, in case you want to check. 
in there. That was the whole thing kind of cleaned it up a little bit too. But even, yeah, it does look a lot better even now. And that. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, we'll get it back home hopefully. And uh, we'll continue there. So, next time we uh, tune in, we will be in Canada, hopefully with this. And we'll break it down some more. I'll take these uh, washers off. I've just got a file that has been um, burned over, so we'll just kind of file those off, round those off, get those off. Really want to pull it right down, clean everything up, and then uh, re glue and re clamp everything. And new dowels in some cases. I mean, these dowels are over, got to be at least 130 years old, so, and they've held up pretty good. So. Falling out everywhere. Yeah, so no, we'll get that back. We'll get the parts we need. Uh, clean it up and start putting it together. I mean, you don't want it to be a perfect restoration either, because you yeah, it does look brand new, and you want to retain some of the uh, the marks where it's been worn down and stuff. Uh, I'll wire brush and just clean these up. We'll just probably rub it down with some machine oil or something like that, just tidy them up, get that surface rust off. I'm not going to polish them. I might clean these up. These ends are actually brass, so I might actually just where I was hitting, you can see kind of. So I'll clean those up. I will shine those up again. But, uh, yeah, these other actual metal parts, steel parts, we'll just uh, give them a wire brush and they'll look like clean up, retain a bit of the patina and that. Like I said, it was never meant to be perfect, you can see that's rough sawn edges that, you know, you didn't see anyway, but it wasn't uh, a perfect piece of furniture anyway to start with. So, you don't want to fix it up to perfect. And that, okay, we'll catch you in Canada next time.